Hello, hello, hello. This is the air castle in the land of make believe. And all the children everywhere can hear us because we have a magic wire which goes to the radio. We are waiting for President Pip to come up the winding stairway with Piggity Clack, Dougal Murphy, and uh, perhaps the little gingerbread man, and uh, Yip the little wooden dog. We are very, very anxious to see if we cannot uh, rescue Happy Duck. Little Happy Duck has gone away and was captured by the slippery elf, so we have learned, and we do hope to rescue Happy Duck some way. It's going to be quite a task, though, because Happy Duck has been taken prisoner by the slippery elf and is now being held captive in a mysterious underground hallway, and the entrance to it is at the very bottom of the lake, which is connected to the moat around the air castle and very close to the drawbridge. President Pip is no doubt very busy inventing his new diving bell, which he promised to begin. So while we're waiting to hear from him, we might sing a happy little song, hoping it might attract clickety clack and do glimmerty. Let's sing the song about the little gingerbread man, shall we? <laughs> Old Mother Hubbard, she went to the cupboard, said the little gingerbread man. And in a minute, she saw nothing in it, she looked in every kettle and pan. Everybody had an awful appetite, so I had to scamper quickly out of sight. I had to run with all my might, said the little gingerbread man. And then the baker, the candlestick maker, followed me, and oh, how I ran. And then the tailor, a soldier, a sailor, said the little gingerbread man. Upstairs, downstairs, all around the land. Until they lost me, now wouldn't that cross me, said the little gingerbread man. about the little gingerbread man who is standing right here and how he came in without having us hear him we can never imagine. <laughs> I'm not President Pip. <laughs> you thought I was President Pip? Why, no. President Pip wears a long white beard and the magic ring and the magic badge. <laughs> yes. They call me the story man. Did I tell that story about you? Ah! Oh, you mean the story about how you ran as fast as you could and everybody followed you? 
No. No, I didn't tell that story first. In fact, I heard that myself when I was a very little boy. <laughs> yes, I certainly did. And, uh, by the way, doesn't that make you, uh, you're quite an old little man, aren't you? You used to carry a little cane? What kind of a cane did you use to carry a little gingerbread man? Stick candy. Red and white, stick candy cane. They invented those for you. Oh, I often wondered who would be seen carrying a little, tiny, little red and white stick candy cane. Now I understand that it was just for you. You look very fine in your new little strawberry hat, and I see you've kept it very nicely, too. You don't stand on your head? Well, that's just as President Pip would have it. Bugler Murphy and Fady Clark will be here pretty soon. Little gingerbread man, why don't you call them? See if they will come upstairs when they hear your voice. I'm quite sure they will because they like you very much. There he comes. Oh, yes, he heard you calling. By the way, little gingerbread man, what is your name? You haven't any name? Didn't anyone ever try to give you a name? Certainly. There's Cleggity Clack. Hello, Cleggity Clack and Bugler Murphy. My, they're wearing... What kind of little suits are those? They're wearing little rubber suits today. Well, what do you think of that? No doubt preparing to go with us in the diving bell, if it is finished. Clickety Clack and Bigler Murphy, I was just trying to find out what the, the little gingerbread man's name is. <laughs> Bigler Murphy says, what is your name? <laughs> they called you Cinnamon. <laughs> and you didn't like that name? <laughs> what else did they call you? <laughs> Ginger? <laughs> and you didn't like that either? <laughs> well... We'll just call you little gingerbread man and let it go at that, shall we? <laughs> well, just see who's here. Here's Bapo, the funny little clown. <laughs> Hello, Bapo. <laughs> oh, I guess uh, little gingerbread man doesn't feel like going to Toyland today. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, don't suggest that. Bapo says he, he thinks a little gingerbread man... And was going down in the diving bell with us. But, oh, that would never do. <coughs> yes. Little gingerbread man must stay away from water. Is that President Pipple? Bigler Murphy, who is that? <coughs> Mr. Uh? <coughs> well. <coughs> is that Mr. Uh's new salute? <coughs> Hello, Mr. Uh? Oh. Well, do howdy, do howdy. Ah, uh, Mr. Earn, you haven't learned to say howdy do yet, have you? Oh, howdy do, howdy do. President Mr. Pip, he say for me to come upstairs. Say to you, come downstairs quick, fast, mm, quicker if sooner. Quicker if sooner? <laughs> That's almost too fast. We don't like to rush clickety clack, especially when we're going downstairs, because the little fellow sometimes stumbles and falls. You see, he's in a great hurry now. Oh, clickety clack, do be careful. Oh, he's falling downstairs, just as I thought. Oh, and would a man afford a somersault to tumble, tumble, tumble? Oh, Clickety Clack, are you hurt? <laughs> no, Clickety Clack is not hurt. Oh, my, that's one of the advantages of being made of wood. He is scratching his head a little bit. There was quite a bump when he hit the last step there. Oh, Clickety Clack, we'll be right there with you. Isn't that too bad? See the little gingerbread man? was amazed. Oh, you do be careful, little gingerbread man. It would never do for you to fall. <laughs> you be careful. You must always be very careful when you're coming downstairs or going upstairs. Well, here we are, President Pip. President Pip, I wonder if he's working with his machinery. President Pip. Oh, President Pip. Come on, uh, Bugler Murphy. Come on, Clickety Clack. Come on, little gingerbread man. Oh, President Pip is a wonderful inventor. He surely is. Gingerbread man, come on in. Come on in, that's the way, come on. 
I'm pretty busy, though. I'm, uh, I'm pretty busy. I have to, uh, have to, uh, fix up this thing. I have to put some rivets in this big diving bell. See, this is a big diving bell. This is my air riveter. I have to work on it a little bit here and put some more rivets in. Whoa, that one is hot. Let me finish my beard. Who's that helping you there? Well, that's my little friend, Oscar the Brownie. <laughs> He's a very nice little fellow, isn't he? Well, certainly his name is Oscar. He's a Scandinavian brownie. <laughs> well. I'll put this rivet in. Just uh, get this rivet in. What's the matter with my riveter? What's the matter? It won't work. Ah! Oh, that's fine, President Pip. <laughs> Look out, Bugle Murphy. I'll be riveting your coattail to this diving bell. Isn't it me? That's the way. Look out, little gingerbread man. Don't get too close to that river there. It's liable to make crumbs out of you. Oh, that's fine, President Pip. Very good indeed. Can I help you in any way? Well, I have to stack this on here now. You see, the idea of it is you have to crawl inside of it. Where do I pull the pulley up? I'll show you on the inside of it. Now, you see on the inside? Look up in the field out of there. Oh, yes, President Pip. Why, it's hollow, isn't it? Well, what did you think it would be? Solid? Goodness me, I couldn't pull up the... I couldn't pull that big thing up there if it was solid. Now, you see what we're going to do? We're going to get in this diving bell. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. I'm going to... I'm going to lower it out the window. Come on, somebody help me, please. I'll help you, President Pip. My, but it's a big thing, isn't it? Oh, I should say it is. Isn't that pretty heavy? Will that Derek reach out the window? Yeah, the arm of it will swing right up, and I'll lower it down right next to the lake and down below. I got a quickity quack, don't lean out of the window too far. Goodness me. All right, President Pip, are we ready now? Hold on the rope, don't let it go. Whatever you do, it'll go down, it'll fall clear down into the lake and go a lot. Goodness me. All right, I guess we're ready then. Hey. Oh, dear. Oh. No, we can do it all right. Thank you just the same, Mr. Ron. He's getting so he wants to help us all the time. Certainly appreciate that a whole lot. There it goes, a wonderful diving bell. Soon, perhaps, we will be able to rescue Happy Duck. Yes, we'll rescue Happy Duck in spite of the little slippery elf. My ambition is to take the slippery elf prisoner and keep him here so that we can keep our eye on him. Goodness me. Oh, President Pippa, go the magic bells. It will be time for me to leave now. It will be time. It is time. See the clock in the tower? Oh, yes, President Pip. Well, I'll return again. Next time the children hear us, they will see how we get along with your new invention. Well, they just about know that my inventions never fail. I think they do by this time, President Pip. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, little gingerbread man. Goodbye, little gingerbread man. <laughs> Take good care of him, President Pip. Don't let him get in the water, whatever you do. Oh, no. We'll have him stay in the air castle. Goodbye. Stay in the air castle. Goodbye. Goodbye, children. Be good. And you'll be happy.